Hey guys, what's going on? Matt from Mythic Gaming and I've got another awesome Minecraft seed for you. As you can see, I am standing in a little village here and as always, I will bring up the map to let you guys get a look at it and kind of see what we're working with before I kind of point things out. So here is your map. It's another one of those very green maps. It's got a nice placement, honestly, of the desert just kind of in the bottom there and, you know, that little point shape. I do like that. It's very, very green, and if I remember correctly, down in the bottom right there, if you notice, I think that is a mushroom biome. So, if it is, then this map does have all biomes. I, I don't quite remember, so I don't want to guarantee you that it is, but I'm almost positive that down there is a mushroom biome. So, you do have everything, but I'm sure you want to see that the best part is, like all my videos, I always have something really great on every map to show you, and I'm sure you're just wanting to see what that is. So, we will start right here. There's three villages on the map. This being the first one, it's really small. It's at these coordinates. Obviously, I've had them up for a while, so you'll be able to get them. But as you can see, it's pretty small. I mean, it's two, three houses and a, a well. Nothing special, but just kind of like think of it as an outpost and you won't be quite so disappointed in not having the giant buildings. But uh, what's the best part of this map is going to be right past this way. And no, it's not the burning chicken or fucking mountain. I don't know what happened there, but... And no, it's not the surface ravine, although great. I mean, it is right here because, you know, you get some iron, all that fun stuff in there. You got a whole, it's a double ravine, actually. I completely forgot about that. You got all this great stuff to explore. You got a tree in the middle for whatever awesome reason that tree decided to grow down there. All kinds of great stuff here. So you've got these two, the little village there, the double surface ravine here, another pit of lava. Obviously, as you can see, we've got a village right here. And that is not it. If we continue down in this direction, this is going to be basically at your spawn. If I remember when I spawned on this map, I was right about, uh, I want to say, pretty much looking at this village. It might have been right around here somewhere. I mean, don't quote me on it, but it's pretty much in this area. So if you want to call this spawn, this will be the easiest way to, to show you this seed. So here we are at the spawn, and coordinates are right around here. You can kind of see where it is on the map. Obviously, you don't need spawn coordinates, but... You go right in front of you, you've got another one of these small villages where, you know, it's a, a well, a farm, house, another farm. Nothing huge, just a, a nice little way to gather some stuff at the beginning. And then you go a little bit farther across the desert, just like so. And I will drop these coordinates just so you make sure you go in the right direction. You will find another village, a more sizable one, so probably a better place to set up your base. So you come over here, you get this big village, you kind of get yourself going and... And all set and happy and all that fun stuff and unfortunately there is no blacksmith but it's all right i mean you're not always going to get one it does happen what the seed has right between these villages at spawn is probably going to make up for that so you can see i've made my mark here and obviously i'm sure you can tell this is the stronghold so i'll drop right in there and not make you wait any longer so you get in here and yep it's the stronghold as always but it's not just the stronghold it's also a mine shaft which always leads to a ton of crazy adventure when you have a stronghold and mine shaft all built together. You see it keeps going that way. And it, it's going to give you a lot to do. So that's always a positive thing. And then you got it goes this way, you know, goes over here. You know how mine shafts work. I have no real reason to explain it to you. But yeah, so if you dig down right here, it's going to be one of the points that it meets at. So here's your coordinates in case you want to do that. And as you can see, when I come straight down this hole here, that you can dig all the way down in a straight line. And you'll just kind of fall these two blocks when you get down here. So not really a huge issue for you. So that that's a, a kind of nice thing. It's something I do tend to forget to mention when I am giving these coordinates to, to show that it is safe to drop in there and you won't just get murdered. But the round off the spawn, we have to go over here. And it seems like a far distance away. But believe it or not, this is still the stronghold over here. So as you can see, it's a pretty large stronghold to stretch all the way down this way. But if you go right here, right to these coordinates, right here, and you'll get some more great stuff to do. So we go there, we drop down here. As you can see, again, there's really nowhere that you're going to fall until you fall into this awesome little skeleton dungeon. It does have a chest, so you get some loot. As you can see, it is still connected to the stronghold, so it is built in. So this stronghold has a mine and a dungeon built into it. But when you get out this door, you know, it looks around, looks pretty normal, pretty normal. You come over here, you realize it's also built into the side of a ravine. And not only that, but it's got a little pack of diamonds right here. Just 
All you gotta do is bridge across and you've already got yourself some diamonds right off the bat. You got some iron, you some redstone. There is a lot you can grab really quickly. Little lapis there. This awesome water lava fall. I don't know why the hell I was gonna call it a waterfall. But still, you got that there. You've got a ton going on. And then if you look this way, this ravine is not like an ordinary ravine. So if you keep going down this way, you know, get your more ores and all that fun stuff. You have even more diamonds down here. So that's two pockets of exposed diamonds just in the same ravine. And it's all lit up. So, you know, as long as you're careful, you know, you could probably avoid most of the monsters or get them to fall in the lava. So make sure you're careful. You have all those diamonds. And this ravine is kind of unique because I don't know if you can tell by my screen. Let me try and throw some lights on here. But it's not shaped like a typical ravine. Let me get some light up here and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is a very interesting looking ravine once it's it's lit up here. So let's get some lights there, get some lights here, get some there. Kind of just light up the edges so you can see what I'm talking about. Because I know I can see it on my screen because for whatever reason sometimes Minecraft is brighter than it should be. But I'm not quite sure if you guys can see it. So to make sure it's visible for you, I'm going to throw up some torches here. Get this here, get this here, come all the way up here. I don't know if you've noticed as I've been doing this, but the top of this ravine is not a normal shaped ravine, which is the whole point of me trying to, to light this up for you. Because it, it does stand out to me because I've seen a ton of ravines. I don't see a lot that are shaped like this. So I wanted to make sure to highlight that for you just because uh, cause it's awesome, I guess. I mean, I don't know what kind of purpose it really serves, but it's pretty awesome. So let's see what kind of job I've done. Go back here where it looks like a normal ravine. You can see this is pretty typical ravine, just kind of curves around all that interesting stuff. But if you come this way, you notice that this thing is kind of explodes into a crater. You see, it's not just like some even walls like it is back here, but you look up and it just it explodes into this crazy crater shape. And when you get in the back here, you can just it's pretty interesting. I mean, you got all these crazy caves to get into. And all this other stuff, and it just, it's really stood out to me, especially the first time I saw it. I was like, well, I don't see that, uh, I mean, I don't see that every day, you know. I don't see that once a week either, when ravines just have this weird little shape to them. So yeah, it doesn't really influence the seed or anything, it just, I thought it was pretty interesting, so I figured you guys might like it. So I wanted to, to kind of point it out to you, so just to give you, I don't know, add a little bit of personality to the seed. But with all that said, uh, that basically does it for this seed. I mean, I, I like the seed. I hope you guys really do too. I hope you get a lot of fun out of it if you choose to, to play it and explore it. So I will catch you guys in the next video. And uh, until then, you know, I hope you enjoy everything I make. And be sure to let me know in the comments if there is something else you'd like me to do. All right, guys.